teaspoon of soil, there's more microorganisms than there are people on the earth that have ever lived. Of what importance are all of these organisms in soil? Why does Mother Nature have these creatures? Je suis extrêmement contente de la tenue du symposium. On donne pour une fois préséance à la valeur du sol et cette mise en valeur là au sujet de leur fonction écosystémique est extrêmement extrêmement importante. A healthy living soil will percolate and take water in, hold it and then begin to get it to percolate down into the aquifers, regenerating sometimes springs and creeks and rivers. It would solve all of the atmospheric CO2 that we have too much of up here. If we were all farming regeneratively, it would all be taken back down and put into the soil. Climate change is completely linked to the importance of preserving biodiversity. And soil is an underpinning of both of those key directions. Healthy plants not only sequester carbon in the soil, heal ecosystems, and are more productive for farmers, they also produce crops that are more nutritious and flavorful and have the capacity to do what Hippocrates suggested, which is to let food be our medicine. Modern industrial agriculture threatens soils. Every time you add uh, any type of nitrogen and organic fertilizer, you will actually destroy soil life. When you rotocule, when you pass a road, you come to destroy la maison des animaux de sol, puis après ça, tu peux plus compter sur eux pour faire le travail. On est une société où quand on a un problème, on prend une pilule. C'est la même, même chose en agriculture. Quand j'ai un problème, j'ai un herbicide, j'ai un fongicide, j'ai un insecticide, j'ai euh, une machine, j'ai un tracteur. We are losing football fields worth of soil every second around the world. We cannot continue this crazed factory farm system Instead of degenerating, let's regenerate. Coming to a symposium like this is always a, a quandary for me because I love to share what I've learned, but I also know it's going to take action. We won't get any momentum until all kinds of people know about this, you know, whether it's the researchers, it's the growers, it's the general public. I think it's wonderful that this deeper conversation is bubbling up at a time which appears to be cataclysmic. I feel like simultaneously all the solutions are within our grasp. So we have a lot of solutions which we have to do on cropland, on grassland, on forestland. You can actually greatly enhance soil microbial life and be adding stored carbon. We have to figure out systems of agriculture that stop tillage and when we start to get the microorganisms working underneath, then the amount of artificial purchased fertilizer, the requirements keep going down and down. We can increase yields by 500% to 1,000% in our crops just by putting the proper biology back in. The symposium on the sols vivants, for me, it's a première and at the same time, a surprise. A surprise because the team c'est une équipe de jeunes femmes extrêmement motivées. Il y a de la jeunesse, il y a de l'envie, il y a de l'ambition, il y a de la détermination, il y a de l'engagement. We have scientists, we have advocates, we have farmers, we have communicators. It's showing people that there are many routes in to making a difference. We need to really get out there to the early adopters. These are the pioneers. We need to move now from pioneers to early adopters. We can make a difference, we can change it, we know how to change it, we are in the process of changing. What we really need to do is do more of it, get more people involved. We don't have a whole lot of time left and our major tool besides going to renewable energy is respecting the living soils, respecting the farmers and herds people and animals and the rich web of biodiversity that sustain us all.